We see a lot of people checking out what's in their backyard this year <laughs> and utilizing our visitolympia.com website for what are the events that are taking place, but also other attractions. Millersvania State Park, Tommy State Park, right. all of our county parks, mm -hmm. our city parks. We have a ton of parks in Thurston County that people can take advantage of. Mm -hmm. Think about the Chehalis Western Trail as well, mm -hmm. of what they take advantage of, and, and they come into the visitor center. I was surprised, that's one surprise I had, was the number of local people who come in the visitor center to get bicycle maps and Thurston County maps and what mm -hmm. is there to see and do. Mm -hmm. That's great. Um, are there, you mentioned a little, you, I think you touched on this earlier, uh, visitor and tourism related businesses that use special needs people as employees. Mm -hmm. and I think you mentioned a few of the, uh, those um, uh, employers that, that do that. Is that something that may be increasing in the near future? I think it's increasing for a couple of reasons. One, culturally is acceptable and both acceptable at the business level, but also acceptable from the visitor. And they understand that that's an awesome thing to do, right. is to employ somebody that is disabled. And so where they fit in, a, in our market spot, a lot of people will work in the hotel industry, both as maids, and they also do some maintenance work there as well. And then in the restaurants too, they'll get engaged in the restaurant business, mainly in the back room and doing things and, and putting preparations together. But mm -hmm. I think it's growing Mm -hmm. That's wonderful. Um, one of the things that I was uh, doing some research on was uh, how much money um, is spent in Washington State for what we traditionally would call in tourism or visitor, <coughs> and it's over $15 billion a 15 year. $15.9 billion. $15.9 now, wow. Yeah. And that the uh, Washington State Tourism Office, it used to be an office for that, uh, was credited with having over $2 million uh, online visitors a year uh, click onto their website and um, that offered a lot of information to tourists near and far about what was available to to, to visit in mm -hmm. in uh, Washington State. And um, a lot of us are aware of the fact that that tourism office closed down this year due to the state uh, budget crunch um, and that Washington State actually, as far as I know, may be the only state that doesn't have a uh, a statewide tourism office. Uh, has that put pressure on bureaus like yours to provide even more information to visitors? How has that impacted bureaus throughout the state? Yeah, so the tourism office officially shut down on, Ju on July 1st. Uh, one staff member is still remaining at the Department of Commerce to make sure the website experiencewashington.com is going on. Excellent. But what's happened is that did put pressure on, and what I like to say is that the crisis created an opportunity for us as destination marketing organizations, visitor and convention bureaus, and the industry side too, so hotels, restaurants, mm -hmm. attractions, to come together and say, wow, what should we be doing? What should the model look like? Right. And so now what's called Washington Tourism Alliance has been formed. It's a 501c6. It started in February. They just hired their first interim director, Suzanne Fletcher, and they have a team being put together. And then there's several committees have been developed. One is a long-time funding strategy. One is marketing. One is the website. And so those teams are working together. And then also to put on a tourism summit next year in March. Working together, they are moving forward. They've got. They've already raised three hundred thousand dollars. Great. To move forward with it. And mm -hmm. now they're saying, what is the longer-term marketing strategy? to build that. We'll be a membership-based organization. They will come back to the legislature next year and say, what does a, pro a private product model, partnership model look like? We're looking at California. We're also looking at Alaska to say, how do we work that? So J January 1st, that group will actually take physical asset of experiencewashington.com over. They're also taking some of the other assets that the State Tourism Office had with the publications that it had and did as well. So that group is moving forward together to put tourism and Washington State back on the map that mm -hmm. we're alive and well and trying to do business together. Because mm -hmm. we have international partners that already expect a relationship with us and have to help us promote it. So from our standpoint, it does put a little more pressure, and it's put a little more pressure on us specifically in Olympia because we get a lot of phone calls now because they... They look for where's the state capital and right. who has the information. 
but I look at it as a great opportunity for me to promote Olympia and mm -hmm. Thurston County mm -hmm. as a location come and see and do. And then we also serve as a statewide visitor information center because people want to go to Olympic Peninsula. They want right. to go to the coast. They want to go to Mount St. Helens, Mount mm -hmm. Rainier. Mm -hmm. They also ask about wine country and what's in mm -hmm. eastern Washington. So we have a great opportunity to promote the whole state and keep them here a day too longer instead of sending them on into British Columbia or to Oregon. Right. And we mentioned a little earlier in your bio that you've, in your first year, you've created already a number of interesting uh, programs within your office and in your bureau and some new marketing strategies. Could you kind of elaborate a little bit on that now, what some of them are? Yeah. So the questions I like to ask is, what did we do really well? What could we do better? What should we stop doing? What should we start doing? Who else should we partner with? And mm -hmm. what are the resources do we need to be successful? So when I took over, that's the thing I asked my staff, that's the thing I asked my board, and that's the thing I asked my members. So we took those questions and then started to implement them. We said communication is number one, so we started a weekly e-newsletter to 4,500 stakeholders that Great. are in Thurston County, but also across the state. It's Great. to all the visitor and convention bureaus and all the chambers across the state, hmm. so they know what we're doing here mm -hmm. in Olympia as well. We created a social media. We did a YouTube channel. We didn't have one of those before. So I tried to go a couple weeks out before an event. The mm -hmm. first event was the Polar Bear Pointers and said, hey, I'm George Sharp, Executive Director of the Olympia Lacey Tomwater Visitor and Convention Bureau. Plan now to attend the Polar Bear Pointers, right. January 1st, 3 right. p.m., and then I actually went and did the polar bear yeah. plunge. And so I've tried to add some excitement as right. well into it and get buy-in that tourism, even a polar bear plunge, there were tourists at the polar bear plunge. There are tourist or polar bear junkies who travel to each one. They'll do <laughs> right. two or three a day and come there. So that's one attraction. We're trying to build excitement around that. Mm -hmm. A newest thing we did was we partnered with somebody to do discoverthurston.com. And what that does is showcasing every week one of our attractions, what there is to do. And so far we've done Wolf Haven, we did Percival Landing, we're going to do the Rack this coming week, and we also did Tumwater, uh, Tumwater Falls. Hmm. We're trying to create some attractions, both social media-wise that bring it in, but also to let our own residents push it out to their friends and family to say, hey, come visit us for this kind of attraction. Mm -hmm. That's great. And these are new programs that you've developed Correct. just in your first year. Yes, That's great. Some of them I stole from where I was in other <laughs> communities, and Pullman is an example where I did an online TV thing. Mm -hmm. So we brought that through Discover Talk, mm -hmm. uh, Discover Thurston, and do that as well. Kind of customize it to this area so yep. it's unique. Yeah. Oh, so. Wonderful. Uh, what are some of the most popular uh, visitor sites here in Thurston County. So I know this is going to be a big surprise, but we have this big <laughs> dome building, and that brings a lot of people in first. Right. And they come to the visitor right. center. It's mm. funny, the questions they ask too is, can mm. I tour it? Because some capitals, they can't. We have mm. also those people who travel all the states to go see the capital right. as well. Yes, and I know some I had folks somebody who recently that <laughs> were on their 46th capital wow. and said well, ours was one of the most beautiful ones, so yeah. that was really a good feeling too, mm. in our capital campus beautiful. So they come mm. and they stop and they do that. Mm -hmm. Then they also, Tumwater Falls has over 250,000 people going there every year wow. as well. Now that includes local residents, so I, I can't break out what the what the exact experience is there, but that's another one that people go and see. Mm -hmm. Percival Landing just got redone. It's a beautiful place. Mm -hmm. One interesting thing is RAC, it's the Recreational Athletic Complex at Lacey, has something every week now there. Even on January 1st, they have a Alcohol Anonymous softball tournament wow. that brings people from outside the area. Great. So there we, Cabela's, you already mentioned, mm -hmm. Nisqual Nisqually National Wildlife Refuge. Mm -hmm. Of course, we have three casinos in our region that right. are bringing people from outside there. Mm -hmm. The hotels at those locations are full almost every weekend already as well. So mm -hmm. we have those attractions. Our downtown Olympia is an awesome place for people to go and see mm -hmm. and have that experience of a real downtown. Mm -hmm. And uh, you're talking about experience. Increasingly we hear that people are, are now focusing in on their visitor experience and tying that into when they go to a, a new location or to a nearby location that they haven't really ex examined before, trying to experience what people, how people live in that given area. It's almost called um, uh, experience uh, visiting or experience tourism or where the quality of the experience is important. Um, mm -hmm. Is that something that the Bureau is focusing in on? We call it authenticity. Uh -huh. So we are a true authentic experience that people can come see and do. Mm -hmm. It's interesting. Some people argue about Leavenworth, whether that's authentic or not. Right. But Leavenworth is authentic to itself as well. Mm -hmm. So we're trying to say, what is our authenticity? Mm -hmm. What are the things that people talk about? Think about downtown Olympia. 
Olympia. That is an authentic place that people are going to come see That's and right. do. Where you have students from Evergreen, mm -hmm. you have elected officials from the state legislature, mm -hmm. you have local people, mm -hmm. you, we have some homeless people that hang right. out in downtown. That is such an eclectic place that people mm -hmm. love to go come see and do have that experience mm -hmm. of that. And then the shops that we have there too, those are locally owned shops, mm -hmm. right? We don't have a lot of re national retail in downtown Olympia, mm -hmm. so they get that flavor as well. Yeah, some great shops, great restaurants, great ethnic restaurants, fine, good food at reasonable prices. Yeah, mm -hmm. Downtown Olympia is a real gem, but yeah. we have a lot of gems here. And we, we have a lot of gems in, in the rest of the county as well. Right, And exactly. my job is really to find those and start to tell their stories through public relations and marketing. Mm -hmm. That's great. Um, is there anything else you'd like to, to share with our audience? I think one thing I want to share with the audience is that we run the Visitor Information Center with volunteers mm -hmm. and a staff person, but the volunteers help us keep that open. Mm -hmm. And when we get slammed by visitors coming in, then they help also take, and we'll have two or three people mm -hmm. working with the people that come in there. So we do still need some volunteers as well for that. Mm -hmm. And the long term I want to share is that tourism is good for a community. Mm -hmm. And we estimate that over $319 is saved every year by each one of our residents of taxes they would have to pay wow. if we weren't bringing in visitors here. Mm -hmm. So if you think about your favorite restaurant and mm -hmm. if no visitor went there, would that favorite restaurant still be able to stay in business? Right. And they may not be able to stay in business if they didn't have the visitor impact coming along. That's right. And your bureau is part of that, create, generating that visitor impact. And as you said earlier, you need volunteers. Do you have a volunteer training program to help those people that may be interested? We do. When they come on board, they get onboarded as a volunteer. We have a guidebook that teaches them. Mm -hmm. So they don't need to be nervous if they don't know everything about the community. We teach them that, and the visitor teaches them pretty fast, too, with the questions they ask. Mm -hmm. And then we get the answers for them. I get stumped once in a while, mm -hmm. and my staff love to try to stump me too. I embarrassed. I lived here 13 years and I didn't know we had a lighthouse out by Boston Harbor. Yeah. Marina. Yeah. Yeah, and cool. the lady came in, she had a guide and, <laughs> and uh, see, no, it's here. And so it's, uh, it's fun that way too. And who should they contact? If someone out there has some time, they'd like to participate, they'd like to, to give something back to the community and they're particularly interested in visitors and helping them, who, with, who if should If they'll just call me directly because I like to have that first engagement with them. Mm -hmm. So Call me at the Visitor and Convention Bureau. Mm -hmm. I believe you're going to show the number later on the screen. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And our website as well. So. Great. Uh, we always ask our guests, what are one or two of the things you most like about living and working here in Thurston County? Well, I have a funny story about that. Mm -hmm. Over 14 years ago, my wife and I were driving through here. Mm -hmm. We'd been to Ocean Shores, and we were on the right. way to SeaTac. Mm -hmm. And we stopped at what then called Coco's. And my wife looked at me, and she says, or I looked at her and I said, do you ever want to live here? And she said, no, it's way too big. Because we were in Pullman, a little oh, bit in right, town. Right, right. And two years later, I had the opportunity to come work for the state tourism office. So we did our research. We were looking around. Mm -hmm. we were, I was looking for a different job at that time. And we came down and explored it. It's the sense of place that this Thurston County has, mm -hmm. but also the cohesiveness of people working together mm -hmm. as a community. I know we have our differences on certain things, sure. but people love this place mm -hmm. and they don't want to leave after they've come here. Right. I love, sure, the, the rain sometimes gets tiresome, <laughs> but also we don't have big bugs and we don't have hot heat and we don't have sultry conditions. Right. So that, and then the outdoorness that there is to do and see. And mm -hmm. thing about Thurston County, there is something to do almost every single day of the week, not mm -hmm. just every weekend, but every single day of the week that's, that's right. fun to go see and do in our community. Mm -hmm. So there's just a lot to Thurston County. There's a lot. That's right. Uh, well, thank you very much for uh, coming to uh, visit us today and to share with the audience just a little of what you do in the Visitor and Convention Bureau. We really appreciate the good work you do. Thank you, Patrick. Thank you. Uh, visitors come to our county to see our many sites and to shop and bring with them their disposable income and add to our economic vitality. Uh, this is especially important now during this current recession. We hope you have enjoyed our show today around Thurston County. There's so much that's going on here in the county and so much about Thurston County that makes it interesting. Please plan to look for our future shows. Uh, we produce our show once monthly at the Comcast TCTV uh, studios in Olympia, and it airs twice weekly, uh, Monday uh, evening at 6.30 p.m. and Friday evenings at 5 p.m. Please tell your friends about it, and check out our Facebook uh, page, Around Thurston County. I'm Patrick Babineau for Around Thurston County, and we look forward to seeing you again soon. Goodbye.